uh, firearms amnesty. The amnesty is part of an overall package of reforms to the firearm laws to make our community safer, with a key objective of making sure that uh, guns and other firearms do not get into the hands of criminals and other people who should not have them. So this amnesty is about helping those people who have either unregistered firearms or a firearm they no longer require to hand it in uh, safely, quickly and with, um, very simply. In addition to the usual police stations being available to hand in a firearm, we've extended the program to also include a number of firearm dealers and that's a first for South Australia. We are basing this, we're basing this trial on what happened in Queensland when they opened it up to firearm dealers and actually got a really good result in people handing in their firearms. So the firearms is about improving community uh, firearms amnesty, it's about improving community safety. Equally, we want to make it easy for people to do the right thing. And a key theme behind the firearms bill, which is currently before Parliament, is to ensure that we make it easy for people to comply with the law. I'll now invite uh, Assistant Commissioner Newitt uh, from SAPOL to make a few comments and also uh, David Handyside from the Sporting Shooters Association of SA. Uh, thank you, Minister, and thank you for uh, coming here today. Um, just to reiterate the words of the Minister, uh, the amnesty provides people in possession of um, either unwanted or illicit firearms the opportunity to hand that firearm in at either a police station or a participating licensed dealer. Um, it is quite a new initiative for this state, but it's one in which we hope people will respond positively to and to provide those firearms at either the police station or the participating dealer. Details of the dealers are on the police website, so I'd encourage people who may be watching this at home to go to the website to look at the dealers who are participating and then to take the opportunity to uh, hand in those firearms they don't want. They also have the ability, which is a new initiative as well for a licensed person, to hand the firearm in and then apply for registration of the firearm. That is a new initiative. It's designed to legitimise firearms that are in the community so that we can bring them uh, into the registration scheme so we know where those firearms are and we know that they're in possession of people whom are appropriately licensed. And additionally, uh, people who are licensed also have the ability to discuss that firearm and sell it if they wish to do so to a licensed dealer. It's a new initiative. The Queensland model worked very well. We're hoping that we can replicate that in South Australia and that it will be a successful seven-month amnesty leading into um, what we anticipate to be and hope to be some new legislation which will include a rolling amnesty. I'd like to hand over to Mr David Handyside, the President of the Sporting Shooters Association of South Australia. Thank you. Um, the community expects that firearms are only in the hands of accredited and licensed people and the Sporting Shooters Association um, of South Australia and, in fact, Australia uh, fully supports that position. Uh, we will be encouraging our members to assist with the uh, securing and registration uh, of all firearms which otherwise might uh, end up in the hands of criminals. Uh, we consider this a, a public uh, safety issue and uh, it's in everybody's interest that uh, this is a, a, a success in the community. Thank you very much. Does anybody have any questions regarding the firearms amnesty? Uh, my understanding is the last uh, amnesty, um, people handed in over 3,000 firearms. Uh, we were making it very easy, uh, we're very keen to make it easy for people to hand them in. And so what we're saying is, uh, we, th we don't think there should be firearms out there which perhaps uh, are not registered or alternatively not uh, no longer needed. So this basic the answer is to make it as simple as possible to be handed in if they want to. Okay. Can you understand why there might be reluctance from some members of the community to potentially hand in these unlicensed firearms? Look, um, we see unregistered firearms coming uh, into police possession all the time. That's why it's very important that we run periodically run these amnesties. And the last one in 2012, as the Minister referred to, was quite successful, with over 3,000 firearms handed in. That amnesty only involved people attending police stations um, to hand their guns in. This time, in an attempt to uh, to um, perhaps allay some of those concerns you've alluded to, we're including uh, participating licensed dealers. I see that as a very uh, positive step to try and encourage more firearms to be 
handed in than would otherwise be so. So it's the, uh, the, we understand, we've listened to the community about some of those hesitations. We've received some, some excellent feedback from the Sporting Shooters Association. That's why you're never too old to learn new tricks. We've, uh, we're putting in place a new approach, which we hope will uh, bring even more results forward. And really those people that have those guns that don't need them, hand them in or seek to register them or sell them. Uh, it's about legitimising firearms. Okay, any other question about um, firearms at Amnesty? Okay. Oh, Go on. Something else. Something different? Okay, any more? All right. All right, in the second, we just make you know, more firearms stuff. Okay. Thank you, General. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Um, how is the ESL being spent if it's 